looking good, YouTube. My name is Love Game, or PD1 Piranha if you prefer. I am the man destined to be king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Zoids Battle Legends. We're going right back into it. With this beautiful Zaberfang RT. And the beautiful rose tints of our one and only waifu, Claudia Diamant. Because why else would we have that color on our skin? On our Zoid. Hey, get the fuck back here. Kind of a bad spawn for this mission, but what can you do for the Sea Strikers? I mean, it's not quite a mantine. Wish it was, but it's not. But I can't just, uh... I can't just wish for mantines and get nothing in my hand, you know? It's just not cool at all. The sad part is, like, you know how I have Luxray as my, like, banner for my YouTube channel? Well, did you guys know that you can't even get Luxray for your main team in any other Pokemon game? Like, you literally can't do it. In Gen, uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Well, I don't know about 8, but, uh, 5, 6, and 7 for sure. You actually can't get... Luxray, like in the main game, it's just an after game Pokemon, you can't get it for the main game, so it's like me restating myself a lot. <laughs> but the point being, I want to make like my main Pokemon for my LPs and all that, but it was not in the cards, unfortunately. What the hell? There you have it. Okay, where's the rest of these guys? Yeah, I enjoy the weapon binders a lot because they fire both like guns and missiles at the same time, so. You're gonna hit with something is the point. That's why they're kind of a spray and break kind of weapon, because they're kind of built for that, uh. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> what are these things called in the actual, like. Oh, they're called sinkers. Okay, yeah. They're called sinkers in the, um. Japanese or regular version of Zoids. A lot of, like, Zoids for some reason had their name changed, even though it didn't really affect the whole lot. But, again, the weirdest one was, like, Attack Cat and Hellcat, because they're still called Hellcat in the English dub of the anime. They're just called Attack Cat and, like, the toys. Which is especially odd to me. There we go. Sure, I'm one of these guys. Let's see here. Just use the finger again because they're not worth much else, TBH. Oh, there's two of them. That's fun. You see why getting piled on in this game is uh, not ideal because the camera goes everywhere and you're just kind of all sorts of fucked. And there's still three of them to go. Fun. Okay, how do we clear this wall? Is this the same mission we did for the uh, D-Bison, except for like on the other side of the, the building, essentially, or what am I missing here? Oh, here's one. Eh, quite the pain in my ass. I have the worst like, situation for work right now, because I'm trying my damnedest to get my Wednesday off. This is only the Flame has off, I want to play some more Guilty Gear with them, TBH. And, um, oh, it's two of them, lovely. Uh, I hate this because they schedule me for Wednesday, even though they don't need me because we're not nearly as busy as we used to be. So... I pretty much like don't even make the money that I waste getting the, the gas to actually get to work, so it's, it's kind of dumb. It's fucking these guys, damn. But I'm hoping to get that day off because I really don't want to have to like go to work and make fucking 20 bucks or something like that. And then have to do fucking pointless side work, which we can just hire some uh, cleaning crew to do anyway because like it's we're not getting paid to do it. It's, it's literally like almost almost just free work at that point. What am I doing on this mission at all? Escape from the base? What? Okay. That would have helped to know that a lot earlier. Like, what, go over here? I don't follow. Come on, boosters, get back. Okay. What do you mean by escape? I can't go this way. Do I jump up these blocks? Or do I go a different way entirely? But yeah, I, I hate how, like, servers have to double as, like, essentially janitors, and we could just essentially hire, like, some people off of it. Fuck. Thank you, platforming, for doing that for me. Because we don't get paid for it. Like, if you don't know, servers only make money through tips. We don't actually make money, like, hourly. So... It's kind of a gamble of a... God, do! Kind of a gamble of a job to have, because you can make more money than, like, a typical hourly job, but you can also make less if people are pieces of shit. And by the way, if you don't tip, you definitely deserve death, unless it's, like, not your fault that you just can't afford it or something, but... Generally speaking... 
Of course the map does this now when I get over the damn wall. Oh, of course, yeah. That's that's just dandy. But yeah, um, I don't see why that like why it's a tradition that servers have to do all the side work as well because we don't get paid for it. So. I feel like servers are like, I know it's kind of a elitist thing to say, but I feel like they're kind of the upper echelon of the workforce when it comes to restaurants. I feel like that getting their hands dirty is kind of beneath them, which I know is kind of a bougie sounding thing to say, but I just don't think that they should have to do all the cleaning work as well as everything else. That's just me, though. Wow! Did I lose and win at the same time there? I'll take it. Shit. Yeah, my old job would, like, hire a cleaning crew off, like, pay them off the grid. Or off of our usual, um, payroll. They were fucking great, too. Shoutouts to Victor. I don't know what he's doing nowadays, but he was a fantastic fella. I liked him a lot. He was, like, friends with everybody, too, so... Hell yeah. But, uh... He ended up not working there anymore, so I was the only guy at my old job that would ever do any, like, cleaning or dishes or anything like that, so... It was a real bitch to keep up with, and... It was just... It was what it was, but... I don't get why servers have to do side work because they don't get paid for it, so... It just makes more sense if they were to just, like, okay, you're cut, you can go ahead and clean the place up, and then you're done, but, like, I just... I don't know. Again, just kind of a, a personal opinion I have. I know I can't do anything about it, but... A lot of people say that, like, just the general idea of, like, only relying on tips for pay should be abolished entirely. They just pay us, like, actual hourly money, but, um... If I may briefly get personal on something... I recently had a, a couple of well, I won't say like what they were entirely, but a couple of quite obese women uh, make a threat to me, like an actual. Because if you don't know, like all jokes aside. Telling someone to commit the Sioux IRL is considered a threat, and they said that to me, so... Again, someone who if I ever saw in real life, I would just completely lay out on the concrete, because... Again, if you want to, like... Well, I say in real life, I mean off the clock in that case, but, like... If you want to talk to me like that, at least have the guts to do it off the clock, because I can at least do something about it then, but... They said that to me, and, um, I was, like, really fucked up for the rest of the day. Like, not fucked up as in, like, drugs. I was just shaking the entire time because of that. But, yeah. If there's one thing I agree with, like, uh, anybody, but, well, I don't know if LTG said it as well, but, like, DSP even said it at one point to, like, the whole idea of the laws regarding fighting somebody, I feel like is they're kind of uh, outdated. I just, I always felt that if you were able to, if you had the threat looming over you, potentially like wanting to fight somebody, or how do I say this? Like if you were to talk mess to someone, 
like, being... Like, the threat that you were able to fight them or something like that would make them less apt to do that because they knew that they would have, like, actual consequences, whereas, like... Nowadays, if that happens, you can just call the cops on them or whatever, but... I feel like that's kind of an outdated, uh, law. Just me, though. Just me. Again, I'm not trying to force my beliefs on anybody. I just think that if, like, if you knew somebody could kick your ass for talking to you the wrong way, they wouldn't do it as often because they knew that the consequences would be potentially really fucking bad. I'm not saying go out and pull a gun on somebody, but just, you know, give them a good deck to the jaw, and, you know, I think that would teach a lesson better than them just being able to walk off and get it away with that scot-free, especially if it's a fucking threat like that, so. I will say this, like, and this is probably the most, like, dark I have been on an LP before, but I'll go ahead and, like, just quickly mention this, that the, one of the people that was, that threatened me, mind you, um, they had, well, they had cancer, and all I had to say to that was, you know, thank god they won't be along, er, along, around much longer, because, like, I don't know, people like that, to me, I don't think are deserving of, like, the resources that it needs to keep them alive, like, why waste treatments on someone who's going to be like that and tell somebody to, uh, well, commit the sue? When you could be using that on people that were, you know, children that have that disease and, like, need to recover from it. Like, why waste the time at that point on someone who's just going to be a hateful human being, you know, what? no matter what they have or do, but... Like... Again, they don't have the guts to say that when you're off the clock, because they know you can do something about it then. I mean, when I'm not in uniform... <laughs> Trust me, I'll roast you alive with my words alone before you can I, I can even get my fists on you, but... Can't handle that, because all you want to do is talk a bunch of mess to someone that you know can't retaliate, but... You know what's funny is, like, even after all that, my manager was still on my side about it. Like, she said, and I quote, You should have uh, said unto me, because I would have cussed him out professionally. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I almost did, but they ran off on the plug. But, yeah. If they ever show up again, I'll definitely give them a piece of my mind, but... I don't think they will. I don't think they'll be around long enough to do that, so... They can have fun with the rest of their miserable life, you know, I wouldn't... I'm sure they got it from smoking 50 packs a day anyway, because... Somebody looks like that probably did. But, none of my business at the end of the day. I know I'm kind of being negative here, but I just want to kind of talk about... Again, they, as the age-old uh, excuse goes, they started it. I mean, they, they told me to, um, you know, commit the sue. So, I can say whatever the hell I want about them, as far as I'm concerned. A fucking gun sniper, really? That was all that was left? A regular-ass gun sniper without the Lena unit? Like, alright. Oh, okay, I didn't want to use that, but... Cool. <laughs> that was weird. Can't switch weapons for some reason, so I just take a free hit for nothing. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I try not to be, like, overly negative about that. I don't want to, you know... Sound like a fucking school shooter or something. I just... If you say that to someone, especially IRL like that, I just have no respect for you and... Probably donate your body to science, but you know. In this case, at least it was someone who won't be with us much longer, so we can just kind of 
be thankful for that, that they don't have to bother us. Oh, wrong weapon. What the... There we go. The sound is fucked up for a second there. I forgot to put my booster on as well, so that's a lot of fun. But at this point, it didn't matter, because I have this guy almost... on the ropes, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm not in the wrong for thinking that a person who tells a server at a restaurant to commit the sue that maybe they should probably not uh, open their mouth at all. And I had these other two guys, well, a guy and a, a woman, we were just talking a bunch of mess to me because they felt like it. I mean, I, I feel like most people that do that are like essentially trolls in real life like if you go to a restaurant and just to talk shit to someone it's a server it's like yeah you're just trolling IRL at that point they get a rise out of it obviously they get something out of it that they take pride in or get some kind of rush off of or else they wouldn't do it like, I would get it if your server really was, like, a total asshole to you and just talked a bunch of crap. Or, like, literally just didn't bring you any food or never got refills. If there was a valid reason for it, I would understand it, but... This was not the case in my situation, let's just say. Like, I just don't think people would, like, talk shit in public to people like that nearly as often if they knew there was consequences for it. Like, if they knew that they could get decked in the jaw or something like that, I just don't think they would do it nearly as often. But, again... For the third time now, that's just me. I'm not sure what the general opinion on that is, but... Again, I think the laws regarding that whole thing are a bit outdated. What do you do here now? Let's see. Escort vessel. So we actually attack one of the... Okay. Hmm. I can get down with that. This is the power of our team. Hmm. A different one this time. Interesting. Okay. So again, this is quite tricky. Of course he has a shield when I finally get a fucking lock on him. Like yeah. Okay. I'll try to focus on one at a time here, but I can potentially switch my targets if needed. It's just that they're so fucking tanky. And I have, like, nothing to really, like... Give myself the advantage, I just have to kind of... Deal with what I have. Of course, they all go for me, so... Just getting the health lead is damn near impossible. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is like almost a boss fight at this point, just because you don't have a lot to work with. That didn't hit him. Okay. I hate these guys. I got them both down to like almost half each. If you were to put their health together, I guess it would be like close to that, but you get what I mean. We're both kind of 
disadvantaged here for the fact that Oh, it's a fucking Koenig Wolf. He saw what I could do with that thing. I still can't fucking hit him. My get-up does nothing, of course. Well, fuck. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining here, but yeah. Once you lose your partner on this mission, it might as well be over, because they're once they're both after you, it's kind of... yeah. It's something, all right. And you can't snipe or anything, so... You're at their mercy at that point, is what I'm getting at. How am I not hitting him from this fucking range? He has a shield, but... Not that time he didn't. Fuck, this is hard. It's like you saw the power of a Koenig Wolf and I was using one, so just the general idea of how strong they can be when the fucking AI has one is, uh... Quite something. Yeah. Okay, there's one down. But I have, like, no fucking health. Give me the damn weapon binder, thank you. Oh, I'll try. No promises, but I'll certainly try. What the hell? Where is the other... Koenig Wolf, dare I ask. Is this it? Oh, can I go ahead and... No, no I can't. Melee attack, of course it is. Nice reused uh, sound effect there. Wow. High level gameplay here, guys. This is how it's done. Clearly. <laughs> well. Wow. <sighs> that was a mission. Or. Oh no. To kill the Koenig Wolf, don't I? That's not good. Okay. Oh, here goes nothing and a half. I'll try. I'll certainly fucking try. Might have done it. I might have just done it. Mission accomplished. Ah, uh, that was obnoxious. I knew that one's gonna be hard, but still, I pulled through because I'm me after all. Like an instant message. I'm me. You get it. Is this the next mission I'm thinking of? Let's see. We have waifu confirmation! Oh, this is a lot of fun because, like, one dynamic I do enjoy in this game is, like, Koki has, like, this stigma where, like, you can't believe a woman could be later, so it's just, I don't know. <laughs> Comical sexism, I suppose. Which is always a lot of fun. Alright, let's get pumped, boyos. Let's see here. Don't load. 
It's not quite time for the, uh, the goodies just yet. We have three-fourths of Rot Tiger team now, but... Regardless, I'm gonna call that a part. We'll see y'all next time when let's play Zoids Battle Legends. Until then, I've been Love Game. I want y'all to have a lovely and safe night. <laughs>